Battle Blimp for the Town Hall. Hello, Tornado Trap. Gonna use the Lightning for the Headhunter. <gasps> he get the Town Hall? Does he? He doesn't get the Town Hall! Bro, rip mech! We're back, ladies and gentle fingers, with the next matchup here in the Queso Cup playoffs. We got Rapata Gaming versus MS Esports. Now, if you missed the first two matches, go back and check them out on this channel, on my other channel as well. Link will be down in the description below. If you want to see all the matches, you got to subscribe to both my channels. Here was the bracket. If you want to quickly pause it, take a look. Spoiler alert in the first two rounds. Repotted Gaming took out V and Tompi Knight. That's why you see them here playing MS Esports. And on the other one, well, I won't spoil that one for you in this video. Go watch the other video. But here, let's see who's going to win between Repotted Gaming and MS Esports. We got Tyrannus with the first attack of the match. Doing a queen on the bottom side here. He did have some zaps and a quake to take out one of the Inferno Towers on the lower side of the base there. Log Launcher to get Queen all the way to the Town Hall. King and World Champion were used early to help the Queen path all the way to this Town Hall. We might need to funnel that barracks for her to go the right way. Nope, she's gonna be okay. Get rid of that Tesla, and I think she'll go get the Town Hall. Town Hall's already low on HP. We still got the Queen ability, so he's looking good. The Yetis from the Yeti Mites from the Yeti almost took out the Town Hall by themselves. That's incredible. We pop Queen ability. She gets the Town Hall. Steps left. Hello, Giant Bombs. Unicorn dies. We might be able to pick up an extra Tesla, but she's pretty much done. Here we go with the Lalo from the right side of the base. We haste our way in through the mortar. We get through the Archer Tower. Kidoki. We freeze up the Eagle and the air defense. We get through the Archer Tower at two o'clock. Nice, nice, nice. Doing a slow, methodical law low here. We got headhunters, but they're all in for the king. We're going to pop that warden ability. Headhunters need to hurry up and go get the enemy royal champion, please. They got through the king. The big group of loons making their way to the core. The warden ability keeps them alive through all those red bombs, but there's more. Woo! At least they get the inferno tower. We freeze the scatter shot a second time. Can we get through that in one shot? No, oh, two shots. Yes, down it goes. Wizard tower is going to be the biggest threat here. With the air defense on the back end. We got an invisibility spell. That we could use for the balloons and we do we get through it come on air defense popping the all these balloons uh oh warden owl step up you got this down goes the air defense warden owl go for the archer tower it's close use the last minion at nine o'clock or something dude oh no he sends the minion to the cc building okay 23 seconds it's sketchy it's close i think he's gonna get it he uses the sneaky to grab a collector Warden on the storage. Two minions, three minions gonna be able to get the CC building. Oh, the time is close. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. He gets it, three seconds to spare. It's a triple for Repotted Gaming to kick off this match. If you like the content I'm posting every day and you wanna help support the channel, make sure to use code LEXNOS in the in-game shop before you make any in-app purchases in Clash of Clans. It helps support me a ton, so thank you so much to everybody who helps support the channel. Synthi bringing us the first attack for MS Esports, coming in with a little Super Dragon action. Interesting. See how he's gonna do it. He's got a Fire Flinger. Flame Flinger, same thing. On the top side of the base, okay. Gonna be able to snipe a bunch of buildings. Using some sneakies to funnel all around. Some minions as well, taking his time. Cameraman's not showing us the Charmander. Man, always sell tournaments. There we go. Wizard behind the Flame Flinger. Nice. What next? He's just gonna be patient. The Flame Flinger do his thing for like 30 or 45 seconds. Down goes the air defense, finally. We should be able to start shortly afterward. Their minion at nine o'clock. We're gonna do super dragons from the right side. Here we go, they got a path all the way through that town hall. Queen at three o'clock. Wait, here we go, king out in the front. Queen might step in for the air defense. DC troops are starting to come out. We freeze the scatter shot in the expo. It's just two headhunters. We pop the warden ability early. We're not going to have it to get through the town hall. Flameflinger still doing his thing on the left side. 
Queen, does she go inside? King was beaten through a wall. He's trying to take out the enemy queen. The freeze, the sweeper on the left. Nobody pathing to the town hall. This is actually getting really sketchy. Town hall wakes up. Please, Cynthia, somebody has to go for the town hall. We freeze it up. Queen pops her ability. No matter what, she won't be able to reach the town hall. We're sending royal champion for the town hall. Oh, this is worst case scenario for Cynthia. Uh oh. We rage her up. There's skeleton traps. Queen gets through the multi? No. RC gets through the town hall? Please? With the rage? Oh my gosh, barely. That Royal Champion gets the Town Hall. It does not get the multi. The Ego Artillery stays up. Bro, I don't like that style of Super Dragon Smash. Nobody went for the Town Hall, and it's a big rip for Synthi. For Potted Gaming, you're going to have a nice little lead here after the first round of attacks. You got the Archer and the Minions over at 9 o'clock trying to pick up extra percentage points. But Synthi not going to be able to get it done. Rip. Last Dragon Rider will get the Wizard Tower, and then he's gonna die. Get the Mortar as well. No, not quite. Minions can grab another building before the Eagle kills them. Yes, 79, or will it be an 80? I think it's gonna be 79. The Eagle lands on the Minions. Ripperoni. Nice try, Synthi, but it's gonna fall short. General Lex. With a little Super Dragon action of his own. Alright, let's see if Repotted Gaming can get it done. We got the... Rocket Balloons from the south side of the base to snipe that defense, sure. Pull a couple traps as well, Baby Dragon to funnel. Alright. More Balloons from the right. Here we go with all the Super Dragons. In with the Stone Slammer. Double Rage, early as heck, Warden ability, we get through that Royal Champion, we're gonna get through the CC Troops, Queen up at 2 o'clock to walk toward 12. Tornado Trap gonna spin these Super Dragons around. We freeze up the Town Hall and the Air Defense, one or two Super Dragons should be able to take it out, we drop a Rage, freeze again. Oh, he swagged that Rage, dude. Monkey. Super Dragon pathing is so sketchy sometimes. Hard to predict exactly how they'll fly, you know? it's like sidestep instead of going straight towards a building. I really kind of hate it. Queen takes out the Expo. She's going to keep going up. She's still looking alright. Super Drag's in the core. Doing decent with the Warden. Dragon Rider from the Stone Slammer as well. We still got a Royal Champion to use. Can Queen go inside for the Eagle? She's skipping it, but the Super Dragon should take it out. We pop Queen ability. Going to get through the enemy Barbarian King. The Warden goes down because he gets in front of the Super Drags for some silly reason. I need to use the Royal Champion on that multi on the top side. What is he waiting for? I don't think he should wait any longer. There goes the Royal Champion. He waited too long to deploy her. King's got his ability. We've got three more spells to use. There goes the Freeze early. Use the Poison. Nice. Poison for the Skellies. Can we keep the Queen alive? RC needs to hurry up and take out the Scatter to keep the Queen and Unicorn alive. Super Dragon distracting a couple of the Scatter Shot shots. RC has her ability. we got an Invis. RC gets through the Scatter. RC has ability. He's got it. Wow. It's gonna work out. There goes the ability. Boom, bada bing, bada bam. Thank you, ma'am. Swag invisibility spell. Plenty of time on the clock. RC, Queen, gonna be able to finish off the base together. We swag the invisibility spell and we're potted gaming. Our two for two. Nachoa is in with some Queen Charge Dragon Rider action here. MS Esports, they gotta start three starring, or else they're gonna fall way too far. Did an early Yeti bomb here. It is. Okay. Yetis take out the Royal Champion. And those Yeti mites good. They grab the scatter. Get the single as well. They do. Wow! What a Yeti bomb. Gets the CC pool. Takes out the scatter and the Inferno Tower. That was high value. We drop the poison to help Queen get through the triple ice golem CC. Gonna be freezing her up for quite a while here. Now, which way is she gonna walk? It's the second one. We send some balloons for the builder hut. We're not gonna get the bomb tower as well. Oh, done. Is that even worth it? I don't know. We wall break on the bottom side. Get, get queen access to that next layer. Rage her up. And king. He's gonna walk all the way around the bottom. Come on, King, hurry up. Go make that funnel. Oh my gosh, she's not going to walk inside. 
Oh, and we're losing healers to these red bombs. Oh, we're losing healers. Oh, bye-bye healers. Oh, MS Esports are fumbling the bag right now. We rage the queen and unicorn. We freeze the warden tower. We wall break to give queen access to the town hall. We send royal champion. Woo! We're gonna have to use the last freeze just to get queen to the town hall. There goes the last freeze. Aye, aye, aye. We wall break on the right. Queen has access to the town hall, but does she go over there? One dragon rider already deployed from three o'clock. RC pops her ability. She'll get the scatter. Queen is smart and goes back around to get the town hall. Yes, nice use of the invis. Oh my gosh, this was scary. Is there any way he can save the three star though? Because even a two is just not good enough for MS Esports right now. Queen pops her ability. Town hall drops. We pop the warden ability. Raised up those dragon riders. We're all out of spells now though. They need to get through that air defense without losing that dragon rider. Oh. Come on, get through the eagle. This archer tower on the top right is doing a lot of damage to his other dragon rider. Only two riders left. I know there's all that's left is the eagle and two archer towers, but he's gonna run out of time. He's gonna run out of time, bro. It took ten and a half years just to get me to that town hall. Oh, rip MS Esports, man. They're gonna be 0 for 2. Wow. Down goes the archer tower on the right and just not enough cleanup over there. It is literally a time fail. He saved it. But he should have started the Dragon Riders like 20 seconds earlier. If not even earlier than that. Rip. Down goes the Archer Tower. No, we run out of time. At 89%. And they are in big trouble now. Argo99 is in with a third attack for Repotted Gaming. They get another triple here. They're going to have such a massive... See if they can get it done. Warden walk over here on the left side of the base. It's gonna be a P.E.K.K.A. smash attack with the super wizards. The balloons funneling over at 2 o'clock. Sure, baby dragon up at 10 o'clock. Need the warden to get all the way to the scatter shot? I think we do. Might take a while. Healer's on the warden. We're probably gonna have to give him a rage spell to get through the storage and the scatter shot. Builders repairing that wizard tower. It takes five and a half years for the warden to get through it. There we go. Rage up the warden. We'll get through the storage. We'll get through the scatter shot. Then we can start. Taking a lot of time though. Come on, warden. Hurry it up. Gosh, already at two minutes. Boom. Scatter's dead. Now. And we can begin. Drops the queen. He still wasted like a few seconds there, not dropping the queen on time. Jeez. Only a minute and 40 on the clock, dude. This is going to be sketchy on time. We got the P.E.K.K.A.s in. We got the Super Wizards in. Another P.E.K.K.A. The king on the outside of the base. Okay, sure. Eagle Artillery is locking on to P.E.K.K.A.s. We're going to use the Log Launcher. Queen on queen action. He doesn't notice. He doesn't freeze in time. Queen ability is forced. Rip the late freeze, man. Bye-bye, queen ability. Oh, that is not good news. King on the right. We did funnel for him to go in toward the multi and the enemy royal champion. Okay. We rage. We're going to be able to get through the CC. We pop war and ability. We should melt through that lava dog with the super wizards in the rage spell. Boom. Just two shot it. Down it goes. King pops ability. There's a Tesla farm over on the right. A lot of skeleton traps as well. Freeze it up. We're going to have to use RC on the left just because of time reasons. And so, get you. King finally gets to the multi. He's using RC on the right. The log launcher didn't even get him all the way to the town hall. Good thing he brought a jump spell. Where does he drop it? Drops it right there. Troops might go left for the scatter shot though. I think only Queen's gonna go toward the town hall. Oh, she gets locked onto. We invis her. Bro, this is looking sketchy just for getting the town hall. We get the single. Remember, Queen doesn't have ability. Gonna have to invis again. He invises the royal champion and the queen. This is the unicorn though. We do get the town hall and we're running out of time. Not gonna get the triple. Oof, rip Largo 99. How much percent does he get? Six, five, four, three, two, one. Falls short at 80. 
nine percent. That's the defense MSE Sports needed. They might just be able to get back into this match. Guys, I also have a mini channel, my second Clash of Clans channel, where I'm posting daily content. Link down in the description below. Go check it out right now. Hit subscribe for even more daily Clash content. Alec is in with the next attack, and oof, base put us in this one a little late. What in the early blimp warden ability happened here? Ooh. Warden ability for a battle blimp gets all the way close to the core. Super archers and super wizards with a clone take out the town hall. Do they get the scatter shot as well? Oh my gosh, look at that value. Jeez, the entire core is gone. Wow, look at that. He only has two dragon riders, a golem, and balloons left. It's gonna be interesting. And Royal Champion on the right. He already killed the CC though, too. Which is kinda neat. King Queen gonna go inside, and we can basically just hero push the rest of the base. Oh man. Jeez, the base is absolutely deleted. We got a rage for the king and the queen. Balloons, dragon rider from nine o'clock. We send a couple of headhunters to help get through the enemy king. Another Dragon Rider from the right. Okay. <clears throat> RC will get the scatter shot that we missed. We still got her ability. Looking good. Boom, 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 boom. He's got it, bro. What a plan from Elec. I wish the cameraman didn't join the attack so late. We pop Queen ability. Swag and invisibility spell. This base absolutely smashed to smithereens. And MS Esports with a chance now to start catching back up. All they need is a couple, uh, is one more defense, really. Mech is in bringing us the next attack for reported gaming. It looks like a little old school Hydra action. Only one lightning spell. What the heck is one lightning spell? Usually you bring two for a sweeper, but he's got one. Battle blimp for the town hall. Hello, tornado trap. Gonna use the lightning for the headhunter. <gasps> he get the town hall? Does he? He doesn't get the town hall! Bro, rip mech! Why did he not use the invis? Oh my gosh, the giant bomb kills his sneakies. Oh, he's in big trouble. Bro, this is literally the defense that MS Esports needed. Oh no. Anything could happen now. Let's see. We got the Archer Queen to kill the Lava Dog. We got a Poison Spell. There he goes with the Poison. Can he recover? It would be one heck of a recovery if he... The Town Hall was supposed to be dead. We're just going to have to send the Dragons through it. And King goes the wrong way. The mech is fumbling the bag right now. We rage. We freeze the town hall. King's going all the way into the town hall compartment. Warden oh. ability. Queen on the outside. Is anybody even going to go get that lower scatter shot? I think they will. Dragon Rider Dragon should go get it. Warden sitting inside the Giga Juice. Not taste yummy. Queen on the outside. We're going to send Royal Champion to try and keep the Queen alive. And that does work for now. Queen will be able to keep her ability. We freeze the enemy Queen. We rage the Royal Champion. Dragons are starting to clear the core. RC inside the rage should get the Eagle. Yes, nice invisibility. Then she'll kill the enemy Queen. That's looking decent at least. We rage the dragons one more time in the core. We're all out of spells. Queen on the outside still has her ability. There goes the RC ability. She picks up all the cannons. That Dragon Rider get the scatter shot? Yes? Bro, it's actually so close. Can that dragon get the multi on the outside? Oh my gosh, he does. Bro, how is this this close? Queen's gonna have to go to ability. If that ground expo was dead, this would be a three star all day long. But with the ground expo staying up, it might just save the, the base. Oh, the expo kills the unicorn. The owl could take out the expo, but not in time. Jeez, I can't believe he almost saved that. Wow. Nice recovery from Mech. Gotta give him props for that, but he did mess up the blimp town hall dive at the beginning. Once you see that tornado trap spinning your goblins away from the town hall, you have to drop the invis right away, or else you're gonna end up getting screwed by a delayed giant bomb. 
Owl runs out of time and he's going to fall short at 92%. And MS Esports have a chance if they can triple their next attack. Kingsman in with a little queen charge. Lalo action. If he can get the three star here. We're going to be all tied up going into the last round of attacks. Got rocket balloons and normal wall breakers. Interesting. Okay. I'm gonna do it. The jump spell as well. Very interesting. Bean starts on the bottom side of the base. Wizard balloon to help funnel. Flame flinger is in. Nice. I think we just want Queen to skip the eagle because the flame flinger will take out the eagle. What about that mortar? He uses the rocket balloons from 3 o'clock to snipe the air defense. Did Verpot and Gaming use this base in their first match against uh, Vian Tompini? I think they... Flame Flinger steps up. He's going to get hit by the mortar once, but that's not the end of the world. There's going to be twice. Yeah, twice. Rip. Oh, we got a jump spell to get Queen to that town hall. It's actually a pretty similar plan that uh, Vian Tompini did against potted isn't it i think it is queen ability forced rip that rage was late oh uh, yikes but not the end of the world queen will take out the builder hut take out the scatter flame flingers working on that eagle artillery he'll get through it dc troops still have not come out we got to raise the queen again soon scatter shots do a heck of a lot of damage he's being patient though here goes the next rage queen gonna step here do we have to get ready with an invis some sorts. No, maybe not. King on the right side. He's going to be able to take out the outside air defense, which is nice. Queen gets the town hall. Flame Flinger stepping up for the Builder Hut. We raise the Queen one more time. We still haven't gotten the CC troops. Warden on ground mode to help King and Royal Champion. Here comes CC troops going for the Royal Champion. Oh, this is interesting. We rage her up. We poison. Wow. Tornado Trap hits the Queen. Spins her back around to the right, which means at least she'll be able to get the multi if she stays alive. That's a big if. Ooh, RC's getting wrecked. Has to go to ability. Takes out some of these Expos. Queen gets the multi before she dies. We got Lalo on the left. Frees up the multi over there. Warden helping the upper group of Lalo. Royal Champion goes down. We're all out of spells. Come on, Warden. Help the balloons. Help the balloons. Oh, all the balloons on the left die. All the balloons on the top side are getting wrecked. Oh, it's going to be close. The multi, the builder hut, the expo stay up. But we got the king. We got the yak. We got the warden. Lots of minions and headhunter on the left. He's breathing a sigh of relief. I think he gets it. Oh my gosh. What a close attack. King, warden, step up. There was an opening in the wall, so we didn't need the yak anyway. We get the multi. It is a three star for MS Esports. And we are all tied up. 10 stars a piece. Tim is in with the final attack for Repotted Gaming. Now, Repotted Gaming do have the percentage lead if you look at the scoreboard. I'll hide my camera for a second. Boom. Repotted Gaming up 76.2% to 73.6 total destruction. So, if Tim triples this attack, they win the match because MS Esports won't be able to catch up. But anything short of a triple, and MS Esports can steal the win. Tim going in with a. Yeti bomb that had a hound in front of it. Okay. It clears that core multi. Or that core? I don't know. Upper core? Like two cores in this base. We get that multi. We even get the sweeper. We get the CC pull. That was a pretty high value Yeti bomb. Not going to NGL on you. We pull the CC troops over to the left. Rocket balloon, super minions. We do have one poison spell. We got one lightning spell as well. What the heck is the lightning for? just for queen to take out headhunters oh it's such a waste of a spell i still think two poisons bringing two poisons is way better more versatile than bringing a lightning and a poison specifically with the lightning for headhunter because in this case there's no headhunters or the yetis took them out already and at least it saved the second poison to help you kill the royal champion or something but anyways here we go king and queen no king and rc in for the upper scatter queen Going all the way toward the town hall. Oh, that's a lot of Teslas. And a lot of skelly traps. Uh-oh, he might be in trouble. Let's go with the invis. King beaten through walls. RC already popped her ability. We freeze. Bro, does Queen get to this town hall? He's having to use balloons. The cannon might force her ability. 
Oh, the cannon goes down. It's so close. Queen, go in. She's still not going in. Gotta get another storage. Here we go with the dragon riders from the top side. It has two dragon riders with this Lalo attack. Nice. The dragon riders will go snipe the eagle. I like it. Queen pops her ability. Town hall drops. We still got one lava hound, 19 balloons, and the warden. Use with the law alone. Here we go. A minute and nine seconds. You know how many seconds that is. Left on the clock. Warden with the right group of balloons. Gotta make sure these headhunters will target the RC. And he doesn't. Oh, he drops them in the wrong spot. They go for the king. Still have a core multi to worry about. We rage. We freeze. Come on. Hurry up, headhunters. Hurry up. We freeze the core multi again. Haste the balloons on the south side. That RC is working on our warden, bro. If the warden dies... Ooh, the Warden dies, but the Headhunters do kill the Royal Champion. This is crushed, isn't it? He's got another haste on the south side. Dragon Rider dies, but there's too many balloons for the single to handle. It's all a matter of time, and I think he has time. He's got balloons. He's got minions on the south side. There's the tornado. All the balloons die, but the single goes down. Wow. What a clutch attack, dude. The CC drops with plenty of time to spare. It is a three star for Temtastic and Repotted Gaming win the match. Arium is in bringing us a little more Lalo action. Okay, five invisibilities. Probably gonna be a blizz here. We got balloons on the left. Battle blimp. Warden. Headhunter. Woo! Warden ability. Here we go. Better hope there's not a tornado trap. We could be in trouble. Pops it right over the wall, makes the town hall invisible. Look at what he's doing. He's gonna make the town hall invisible once or twice because he wants to make sure that he's going to get the other buildings first. Then he drops the invisibilities to where they can shoot the town hall. Ooh, okay, nicely done. The super wizards all go poof. They die. That royal champion stays alive on one HP. Now, if if he drops the queen or something right now from like nine o'clock and pulls the warden, the warden could stay alive and help the Sui. And that would be clutch. Oh, Warden, don't get in range of the Archer Tower. Rip. Warden's gonna die. Dang it. That's okay, not the end of the... Especially since the core of the base is already gone. We don't really need the Warden. It's just super extra value when that Warden can stay alive and help the Sui as well. But here we go. Queen, King, Ice Golem gonna make their way inside the wall gap. We didn't bring any wall breakers because we don't need them. We just want them to get as much value as they can on the top side of the base. And then we do a little Lalo without the Warden for the rest. Royal well, Champion's in at 12 o'clock to help support. We're gonna freeze up the multi, pop the King ability. Gets through the multi, nice. Tornado Trap up there, spins him around. There was a whole Tesla farm up there as well. Probably should have already started the Lalo to see if we can keep the Royal Champion and Queen alive. Instead, he's going to let them all die. we got to get through the Queen without a Warden ability for Headhunters. That could be a little difficult. We're going to invis the Queen. Pop her ability anyways. That's a waste of an invis. Rip. Here we go. The Lalo on the right side of the base with two Ice Hounds. We freeze up the Scatter Shot. Queen's getting hit pretty hard. Can she help get the Scatter? He dies to the Expo. But we haste. The Ice Hounds are freezing everything up. Those Ice Hounds are getting some nice value. Can we get through the multi? There was another haze. The multi drops. Can we get through everything on the south side? No more splash. But the balloons are thinning out without the Warden Aura. Oh. Is it enough? Oh, an Arium. Might not be enough. How many balloons is that? No, it's not. It's a defense for Repotted Gaming. Ooh, okay. They're going to get the win by stars, not just percent. GG's. MS Esports knocked out of this tournament. Wow. Repotted Gaming knocking out a lot of top tier teams, man. Repotted Gaming looking so strong. They knocked out V and Tompina. They knock out MS Esports. They are going to keep pushing on through the next round. GG's to Repotted. This attack going to fall short at 92%. Nice try to area him, but not good enough to get the three star today. Here in a second, we'll see the winner screen pop up. But it is indeed a victory for Repotted Gaming. 13 stars to 12. GG's to them in this match. And in the next match, it might be on the other channel. Go subscribe to that channel too. Uh, I think we're going to have Strut versus... I don't know. I forgot who. Strut is going to be a nice one. The 2020 World Champions.